What's good, YouTube? Ryan Babs here. Six o'clock in the morning. Yes, I'm outside my house. Uh, just took the dogs out. About to go inside. And the leaves are falling. Um, about to go inside, get some stuff listed on eBay. Gotta get some sales going back up. As I said in yesterday's vlog, um, my goal is to slowly liquidate stuff. I'm not really buying anything unless it's a deal I can't pass up. So, that's what we're doing is selling stuff. There's a couple things I am looking to buy. So it is what it is, but um, I'm not worried about those. Y'all will see those hopefully late ne late this week, early next week, depending on whenever I pull the trigger. But anyways, guys, out here, out here with Phoebes. She just had to go to the bathroom and then uh, we'll go back inside and get some things listed. I don't know why this doesn't want to work. But we got five cents from Stag Industrial, six cents from Realty Income, four cents from Procter and Gamble, twenty-two cents from Abby yesterday. So we made thirty-seven cents yesterday and didn't have to do a thing. Speaking of dividends, that kind of goes into today's topic of the video, which will be, which I'll be talking about later, which will be how does my sports card stuff translate over into personal finance. Um, I'm not gonna go into full details. So I'm gonna just give y'all a little bit. But um, eventually, if y'all want to see exactly how this stuff translates over to me personally, um, the, like the ins and outs and the, like how everything flows, I'll do a video on that. Y'all just got to let me know down in the comments below if that's something y'all want to see. But anyways, guys, I'm heading to work. And um, we're taking an early lunch today because I got a call. Got to make an important phone call today. So uh, I'm going to try to get some of that on camera. And then we're gonna try to get list some of these slabs up on eBay during our lunch break. Uh, I gotta get these sales going. Gotta get, uh, gotta get inventory moving. So that's the biggest thing. My main focus right now is just moving inventory. So I will see you guys later. Well, I was gonna try to vlog the get some of the phone call, but the problem is that. Um, I was on hold whenever I was gonna record it, and then I ended up going into Walmart, and then she returned my call, or answered me at Walmart. And uh, I was walking around Walmart the whole time, because I had to get a box, because I gotta ship an order out tomorrow. And, um, but I, w I just got like a, a, uh, a bunch of information at once, and I had no idea what to do. Um, but I did make some progress on what I'm trying to do, not gonna reveal it. Um, you guys will get a hint sometime next week though um, in one of the vlogs. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I didn't get nothing listed like I wanted to during lunch, that's okay. But I'm um, heading back to work. Got me a little cheap bowl of ramen noodles so I'm gonna heat that up in a microwave at work and then get back to working so that's what's been going on so far. All right, guys, it's currently like six o'clock at night. I just filled up the Jeep with some gas. I uh, meant to film this when it was daytime, but I didn't. But let's just go ahead and get into today's topic, which is how my sports car business kind of interacts with my personal finance stuff or what I do with my sports car money or how I make money. So pretty much, long story short, what I do is I pay myself a percentage of my net profit or of my profits on transactions. Um, I'll get into that. I'll get into all the ins and outs of it another time, but that's essentially what I do. And I take that money, pay it to myself, and I put that money in my brokerage account where all my dividends and stuff. I pretty much essentially restarted my dividend portfolio. Um, so there's all, there ain't much in there. It ain't worth showing you guys right now. It ain't no crazy amount, as y'all can tell by my dividend payments from the day. But, um, that's pretty much what I do and how it co how it turns in because at the end of the day, my goal is to be financially free. Um, a lot of these finance YouTubers talk about financial freedom and there's multiple ways to skin a cat, different ways to go about achieving that. And for me, cards is my way of getting there. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, I'll go into more detail. If you want me to go into more details later, let me know. I'll do that. But anyways, guys. I'm about to go home, drop this stuff off. I wasn't going to list some stuff, but um, I might have something come up. So, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed, smash the like button, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.